Today I'm sharing 20 plus items that have sold recently for over $20. Hey, my name is Margaret. I make videos all about reselling and making a living from home. If you like videos like that, then make sure you subscribe to my channel so you see lots of videos about reselling online and thrifting for profit. And we're just gonna jump right into the things that have sold for 20 plus dollars recently. Initially, I was going to share all of my sales from December and January, which I still can do. You guys, if you would like to see that, then uh, please leave a comment down below. But I started noticing that I've been doing a lot of inventory clean out. So a lot of the sales that I've made, I've took a lot of best offers and sent offers to people because I'm trying to clear out some of my stale inventory. So there's a lot of smaller ticket item sales, which I enjoy getting, don't get me wrong. Uh, but a lot of those are like $10, $8 sales, which I, I, again, I love to have, um, but I thought you might be more interested in the higher ticket item sales. But again, if you are interested in seeing everything, leave me a comment down below and I can throw that together super easy and uh, share with you what all has been selling everything. So this is an item. Again, I did take an offer on this. This is a signed Abelman iridescent uh, vase. Actually, it's I could probably have gotten more than $100 for it if I had waited, uh, but I, I was happy to take $80 on this vase. I forgot to mention what I paid for the vase. I paid $7.99 at, I believe it was Saver, Savers or Goodwill on that vase. And then this Houston, Texas mug, I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. The next item that sold is a Starbucks mug. This is one of the You Are Here collection, and this is a Houston, Texas Starbucks mug. Next up, this wooden rocking horse toy sold for $19.99, so 20 bucks, and I paid $2 at a garage sale for this. This hardback Tarzan book sold for $23.99, and actually this person bought two other magazines, so it all went out as a bundle. They ended up spending about $43 with, uh, with the other two items that sold as well, and those all came in the big comic book lot that Juan and I picked up for $65, so we were only not even a dollar into each of those. This necklace and earring set I have had for years, so I was very happy to let it go for $38.39. This is one of those items that I priced it really high because it was so unusual, and usually that works out for me over time. I price it high and just let it, let it wait, and this one has been sitting for years, and so I'm very happy, again, to have let it go on. So two of these sold. I got some Kung Fu books from somebody when I used to do Kung Fu. And so I had these and decided I would go ahead and start selling them off. So there are two of these that sold uh, this just recently. This San Diego Padres hat sold for $23.99. We got this maybe two months ago at a garage sale. We bought a whole bunch of hats and I think we paid $25. There were probably 15 or 20 hats there. This is the other Kung Fu book that also sold for $31.99. And the same buyer bought this one as well. And I did take an offer of $63.99 on this book. This cigar box purse sold for $27.99. I've had it for maybe six months, maybe a little bit longer. It's been a little while, but not too, too long. And uh, I paid $4 for this at a garage sale. This is a really, really pretty sterling silver and turquoise ring that I took an offer of $71.19. This might have actually been one of those, you know, you can send best offer um, to people that are watching items. So I go through a couple times a day on eBay and um, send offers if they're available. So it looks like because of the amount, usually I'll put like 15% off or 20% off and it um, generates the amount. So $71.19 is what this sold for. And this ring I got when I first moved to Austin, I bought uh, a big bunch of jewelry from a person that was in the jewelry or my jewelry group on Facebook. And it was a whole lot of stuff that I paid $500 for. And there was a ton of sterling silver and turquoise jewelry in there, as well as some costume jewelry. So probably cents, you know, in two, three, four cents that I paid for this. If you parted everything out over the $500, it was a lot. And next up, this uh, vintage Lefton brass sleigh sold. This sold in January, so sell that you know Christmas stuff year round. And this one I picked up for at a garage sale. It was under five dollars. I do remember that because I remember it, it was marked five dollars, and I was like, mm, I don't really want to pay that much. So I haggled with her and maybe bundled up a few other things with this. Uh, but it ended up selling for twenty five dollars. And I'm sure on some of these, y'all are going to be like, Oh my gosh, you could have gotten so much more for this or that or the other thing. And again, I'm trying to clear out some of my stale inventory and get things moving uh, because it's been a little slow. So I am trying to be proactive and get some sales rolling. 
This was a fun little piece. This was a Hershey's uh, Christmas moving train snow globe. And I picked this up for about a dollar at a garage sale and took an offer of 38 bucks. It's like wind up and the little train goes around. It's pretty, pretty fun. This I've had for a little while. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. It's a Neiman Marcus Lucky Wealth Wheel. So you spin it and it, you know, sell high, whatever. Anyway, so it sold for $50. This was a fun uh, bucket hat that I picked up at a garage sale again for a dollar and it sold for $24.99. This has only been listed I don't know, maybe three or four months. It hasn't been very long. This Marvel Superhero Secret Wars comic book sold for $19.99. And this was in the lot of comics that a friend of mine gave me. Uh, she gave me big, nine big long boxes of comic books. And I've been selling them steadily over the couple of years ago that she gave them to me. So I always suggest you let friends and family know what you do for a living because they're frequently uh, happy to help. This Mad Magazine sold for $19.99, and this again was in that big lot that Juan and I bought for $65 with all the comics, magazines, and, and whatnot in there. This was also in a lot that I got. Uh, this was in that big pin back and button lot that I spent $25 on. There were well over 500 buttons in the big tub that I got, and this sold for $26.99. So one little button you know, paid for the whole thing and everything. I mean, it's been bringing in profit. Even though some of them are smaller sales, it's been profit all along the way. This again also was in that uh, comic book and magazine lot that Juan and I got for $65. And this sold for $69.99. And this little dinosaur sold. I got this in a T-Rex at a garage sale and I believe I paid three or $4 for the pair of them and it sold for $19.99. And this hat was also in that big lot of hats that we got that I shared earlier. And this one sold for $19.99. This metal box, it was a little coin bank as well. On top, there was a slot for, for making it a coin bank. And I got this at a garage sale for under a dollar and it sold for $24.99. This is the kind of stuff that I would use to pick up just it was a no brainer for me because they would sell. Eventually some of them sold faster, but I've, I've really kind of slowed down on picking up a lot of the trinket boxes because I've been having a lot of them sit for a while. But this was a good one, so I guess you just have to do your research. This Jimi Hendrix shirt sold for $37.99. We bought a bunch of shirts from a person actually in my neighborhood when we went to a community garage sale here and they had lots of band type shirts like this and you know, this is from junk food they had lucky brand just we kind of picked through and got some shirts i think we paid 25 dollars or so for maybe 10 shirts so maybe about two 250 per shirt and this one i've had this for a little while maybe nine months but i had a really high price on it this is a painted gourd and i got this at the goodwill right near my house for 7.99 and this it was beautifully hand painted super super lightweight i initially had it listed for like 350 400 because of the the workmanship was so beautiful on it and um you know, signed and everything. Uh, but I ended up working with the buyer uh, who was messaging me saying, you know, really would like this and what can you do to work off the price for me? Um, and so I dropped the price to 150 for the buyer and I was happy with that and they were happy with that. So it all worked out for everyone. And then this magazine or comic ended up selling for $30. Again, took a best offer on that. This is an Ikea light and it's one of those that it's a clip on with like the little bendy whatever. Um, so check out that Ikea stuff because it really can sell. I've got a couple Ikea things here that I'm going to be listing very soon. And this, I, I initially bought it for my kids. So it was something I bought new. Then they never even took it out of the box to use it. And so I sold it for 20 bucks. If you like videos like these, I'm going to link another video here sharing some of my other sales lately and YouTube thinks you like this video. And again, if you enjoy content like this about reselling and making profit from home, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out.